Now, before we can start writing a single line of code, we first need to install a special tool called a code editor. And a code editor is essentially a special software that allows us to write programming code like HTML and CSS in a very easy way. And since this course is probably your first contact with any coding, in this video, I will guide you through installing the very best code editor in the world. And I will then also show you how to set it up a little bit with some special settings, uh, color themes and extensions. And the code editor that we're going to use in this course is called Visual Studio Code from Microsoft. And as I just said earlier, this is in my opinion and in the opinion of many other developers, the very best code editor for web development in the world. So actually every developer that I know right now uses this code editor. And so you also can't go wrong by using VS Code. So to download it, just go to code.visualstudio.com or to make it even easier, you can just Google VS Code and it should then be this very first result. Uh, and of course, VS Code is available for free and for all platforms out there. So Mac OS, Windows and Linux. And so please just go ahead right now and download the installer for your own system. Then install the program on your computer, just like any other program. And then once you're done doing that, uh, just come back to this video so that we can set up your editor a little bit. Okay, so I hope that you managed to install Visual Studio Code or VS Code as we also call it on your computer. And once you open up the code editor, it should look something like this. And as I said earlier, we will now set up uh, VS Code a little bit to make it easier for you to follow this course. And we will start by installing uh, an extension and an extension for VS Code is basically just a small piece of functionality that we can download and which makes the editor a little bit better. So we can basically customize the editor to our needs. So you can think of it a little bit like Google Chrome extensions, for example. So it's the same concept. And the one that we're going to install for now is called Prettier. So just search for Prettier and then it's probably going to be this first result here because Prettier is an extremely popular extension. You see it has uh, over 12 million downloads right now. And so uh, just go ahead and click install here and then enable it. And probably you will then have to also reload uh, this VS Code window. Now what this extension does is to automatically format your code whenever you save it. And this is going to be very important so that your code always looks exactly the same way as the code that I am typing in the video. Because that way it will be way easier for you to find any errors or any mistakes that you have in your own code. So it will be easier for you to find and to fix mistakes as you're going through the videos. Okay, and for now this is actually going to be the only extension that we're going to install. We will just install uh, some more a bit later in the next section. So now let's come uh, down here to this settings icon, then choose settings from here so that we can now tweak uh, a couple of settings. And let's actually start with two settings that are related to the Prettier extension that we just installed. So just come here to the search bar. So searching for uh, the setting name is actually the easiest way of finding them. So just type here uh, default formatter. And so here we actually need to set it to Prettier. So I already have this set, of course, but you will have to uh, go through this list and find Prettier uh, somewhere here. So it is uh, right here. So choose Prettier Code Formatter and uh, it needs to be this ESBNP.Prettier VS Code. Okay. And so now VS Code knows that it should use that Prettier extension that we just installed to format your code. Now, when should it actually format your code? Well, we need to set another setting for that, which is the format 
on save setting. So it's this one here. And here you need to check this checkbox so that Prettier will automatically format your file each time that you save it. Okay, another one uh, that is very important is the autosave setting. So autosave, we need to set it to on focus change. And what this will do is to automatically save your files as you go to another tab or as you leave the window completely. And so this is very important so that you never lose your edits and so that you don't have to manually save your files all the time. So set this one to uh, on focus change again. And another one that I like to use, and I'm not sure if this is actually the default already, is to set the tab size to two. And so in this case, this is just again, so that your code looks exactly the same way as my code. So the tab size is basically just the indentation of the code. And you will uh, know what that means a little bit later once we start writing HTML. Okay, and these are the four settings that uh, we need to set. So I think we're good now with the settings. And now finally, uh, let's talk about these colors. So basically we can customize VS Code with a color theme, which will then change the colors of the code editor itself and also of the code. So it will basically highlight different parts of the code with different colors. Now this is uh, just a thing of personal preference so you can just use the theme that already comes automatically by default with VS Code. But I choose uh, to install a special theme that I believe makes it very easy to read the code and so for you to follow this course in an easier way. So a color theme is basically just another extension that we need to install. And this one is called One Monokai. So this very first one here, and as you can see down here, uh, it will give our code these kind of colors. And also the VS Code editor itself will have this blue color that you can see uh, already here in this window. So if you want to use this color theme as well to make your editor look exactly the same as mine, then just go ahead and once again download this extension and then uh, set the color theme using this option here. And you can also experiment with some other themes, of course, uh, down here again in the settings icon. And then here in color theme, uh, you can choose one of these light themes or one of these dark themes. So VS Code already comes with a bunch of themes uh, pre-installed basically. And so you can uh, try them out as well. Or if you have another preference, you can also install any other theme that you would like. Finally, there's just one more small thing, which is this uh, file icon theme. So this doesn't really matter, but I set mine to this option here, so SETI. And so again, if you want your editor to look uh, just like mine, you can also go ahead and choose this option. Okay, and with that, we are done setting up VS Code for now. So now you're actually ready to write your very first line of code. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do in the next video. See you there soon.